Feeding time is, is feeding time. Here's another rhyme for you. Leaders are readers, and they're also listeners. That means that they spend a lot of money on books and audio and videos and webinars, and they're always looking for ways to save. Tell me I can't read and uh, that I can't watch and I can't listen. Um, well, just then watch me shrivel up and die. I need fresh material as a writer, as a speaker, as a coach. I need fresh material. Many of the great stories and, and essays have already been written, but many more are, are being written every day. So I crave the old and I crave the new. One reason is because principles never change. Challenges may change. Strategies may change. Our operations man manuals may change, but principles don't change. We need to be grounded enough in the past. Uh, we need to be present in the present and we need to be alert to the future. So we can be one step ahead of change all the time. We spend a lot of time in our cars, some of us, maybe less now. I used to spend a great deal of time in my car. Now my commute is from one side of my house to the other where my office is. But for those of you who are still in your car a lot, um, take this old adage, turn your driving time into learning time. Turn your car into a, a university on wheels. If you're valuing your time behind the wheel uh, as learning time, you're going to be less stressed about traffic jams. In fact, you might even look forward to them. And you're less likely to be dialing on your cell phones, which in California is against the law. Audiobooks are an excellent option for those times uh, of driving. And so are the wonderful uh, oral lessons that are available to you all the time and, and the podcasts. And you can actually turn uh, a video into an audio most of the time and not miss anything. So I would say whatever you're doing that doesn't require your whole attention. Perhaps you're doing a some sort of a rote thing with your hands. Uh, you're sorting things. Uh, be always listening to something. My reading comes in waves where sometimes I'm finishing a book a day, sometimes reading very slowly and I'm digesting what I read. And I do a, a great deal of reading online. I use Kindle and I read PDFs and I read a lot of journals and a lot of blogs. But however balanced over the years of my life may have been my reading times, I have spent tens of thousands of dollars and hours on books and audio. Now I'm looking for ways always to save money without cutting back on consumption. And by the way, I've recently given away hundreds and hundreds of books that I've collected over the years. I shop for used books sometimes. Uh, there are numerous sources, including the great online source and real time and space. How about the library? Sometimes it's difficult to get the most current titles, but there's no problem with that. There are thousands of classics yet to be read. Get a library card. And I buy new books. More often than not, I buy digital books these days because I'm trying to save space and paper and time. But I do buy books from the bookstore. I borrow books, but then I'm at the mercy of the reading habits of my friends. I just want to encourage you to feed your mind and your soul 
and your heart by reading and listening and filling your thinking with positive information and positive inspiration. And if you can do that, when you get those unexpected phone calls, you can say, you know what? I'm busy. I'm working. I'm reading. Have a great one. And all the best to you for your continuing success.